Well, hey there, and welcome to The Download. You know how much we miss you when you don't stop by. Uh, well, news from and about Iraq starting us off today. Now, following on the heels of President Bush's visit to Baghdad, Britain's Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, traveling to the Iraqi capital. There, he informed Iraq's Nouri al-Maliki and the rest of the world that the British mission in Iraq is ending, specifically on May 31st, 2009. We will, of course, continue to work in the best possible way with Iraq in the future. And we will offer help with training wherever that is necessary. But having completed the four tasks that we have set ourselves, uh, then we will end our mission on May the 31st, uh, and our troops will be coming home during the next two months. Well, they might have company. Tuesday, Iraq's parliament approving a measure calling for all but U.S. troops to leave before next summer. At present, only six nations have troops in Iraq. Well, polite applause opening OPEC meetings in Algeria Wednesday, although it's unlikely the rest of the world will be applauding their actions. Uh, members of the oil production cartel saying that they will cut a record 2 million barrels from daily production by January 1st. Now, that's record setting not only for its size of the cut, but also for its all at once introduction. The move prompted largely to tumbling crude oil prices which, no surprise, with the announcement have begun to rise again. Uh, also at the meeting, a sizable delegation from non-OPEC member Russia, which says it has already begun cutting production. The heads of 23 Latin American nations traveling to Brazil this week. And heck, who doesn't enjoy a little time in Brazil? Well, notably this week, this man, Cuban President Raul Castro, whose nation was formally invited to join the Rio Group, or Grupo de Rio, formed in the 80s to help end Central America's ongoing conflicts. Well, El Grupo de Rio now growing with Cuba's addition. And at the meetings, several leaders taking the chance to blast the continuing U.S.-Cuban embargo. And just blasting the U.S. in general. Oh, uh, Washington not a member of the Rio Group, just for the record. Well, sticking in Latin America for just a moment. Now, you may remember a few weeks back that story about the big brawl in Ukraine's parliament. Now, remember how we said we weren't picking on any money, that we're just equal opportunity webcasters of parliamentary throwdowns? Well, here's your proof. Mexico's Nuevo León state chambers here. Not acting very state chambery, if you ask me. Uh, the brawl busting out during, of all things, debate on a proposed tunnel in neighboring Juarez dueling members of the National Action and Institutional Revolutionary Parties, obviously sharing some of their differences on infrastructure priorities here. Well, the download, however, still waiting for members of the U.S. Congress to step up to the throwdown plate. Come on, guys. You know you want to. Well, finally, as a public service, the download is happy to offer up this next solution to all those feeling a little bloated this time of year, moving from one holiday buffet to the next. Uh, well, one Japanese master chef says he has the answer, and you're not going to like it. Meet Soichi Uchiyama, and now meet his ingredients. No, really. Chef Uchiyama says he's discovered the perfect holiday meal, one that's tasty, nutritious, low-cal, and environmentally sensitive. Mmm. Uh, by the way, those ain't chanterelles in that pan, folks. Yes, Chef Uchiyama now specializes in cooking meals made entirely of insects. All sorts of insects. Larvae and cicadas and maggots, fried and baked and breaded. And then they're all served on kiwi. Oh, how fresh. Okay, so apart from the kooky chef and all of his gross-out friends here, you know, there's really only one reason the download is running this story. And there it is. Mmm, num num. Happy holidays, everybody. Uh, suddenly the fruitcake is looking really good. Well, that is your gross-out download for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Uh -huh.